Anybody say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. I believe you almost met that. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> praise praise God. Praise God. God. You know, my sister was saying about heaven's point of view. Come on. And I tell you something, heaven's point of view is right here. Yeah. Come on. And if you got any point of view except yeah. that one. Come on. You know what you need to do with it? Uh, Come on. Take it and throw it in the trash. Uh -huh. Because this is the only one that's going to do you any good. Amen. Now, I want to... I want to read you a scripture. And I've done my usual thing. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm going to start off with this. I don't usually even give a title of my message, but this morning, it's look at me or leaving a legacy. Come on. You know what I have got so tired of hearing nowadays? And every time you go to church, before it's over, you'll hear this statement. Come on. Well, I really can't do nothing for you. Come on. And if you're looking to me, you're looking to the wrong person. Come on. When I listen to me, folks, God left us a commission and he told us something we were supposed to do. Come on. And he didn't say we were supposed to run around and say we couldn't do it. Come on. And what would you do if you walked in a doctor's office, Brother Billy, and he looked at you and said, Well, I'm glad you came here, but you're at the wrong place. I really can't help you. You go home. Yeah. Come on. So we go all the time, we go to church, and then, well, I can't help you. Come on. Well, I'm going to tell you something real quick this morning, folks. If your church can't help you, you better find another. Come on. Really. Amen. If your yeah. pastor, let me tell you something. I get people, they look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. If Billy, Brother Billy can't stand in front of this pulpit and tell you, follow me and you'll make it to heaven, then he ain't got no business standing here. Uh -oh. Come on. Uh -oh. Come on. You know what people say? Well, ain't nobody supposed to follow man. Listen to me. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, the Apostle Paul, the one we said the greatest man in the New Testament, yeah. he said, Be ye followers of me Come on. as I am of Christ. Amen. And listen to me, folks. If your pastor not following Christ, you ain't Come got on. no business being in the church. Come on. Come on. That's good preaching. Preach. Who is standing back? Well, I... You know... When Jesus sent the 70 disciples out, and when he sent the 12, he told them, go and heal the sick, and raise the dead, yeah. and cast out devils. You don't find anywhere in there where he said, go and pray for the sick. Come on. He said, heal the sick. Come on. Yeah. And the first thing a preacher will do, if you ask him to pray, he goes, well, you know, I can't do it. Yeah. What happened to this? Leaving a legacy. Back in, I want to take you back here. First, let's go further. Go to first to Second Timothy. I want to show you something. Talk about leaving a legacy now. You're leaving things for those that's behind you yeah. to hang on to. Right. And, and I remember, and I, I don't want to, I hope I don't uh, embarrass little, little uh, Brother Tyler, but I remember when he was a little guy, and I remember him walking around with a dead microphone. Hello. Yeah. Come on. And, and I don't remember. I never one time saw Brother Billy say, "Go over and sit down. You don't need to be doing that." Come on. Yeah. You know what he did? He said, "Follow me." Yeah. Go ahead. And every time Brother Billy would sing a song, Tyler would sing with him. Yeah. Yeah. Every step Brother Billy took, Tyler would take it. Right. Well, look where Tyler's at this morning. Come on. Yeah. You know why? Because Brother Billy gave him something to look at and something to follow and something he can hang on to. Come on. Example. Amen. What are you leaving for your kids? Come on. Your grandkids. Yeah. Listen at me. Yeah. Paul said in 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse. Five, he said, When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I persuaded in you too. You know what he said? The first place I saw a sign of anything was in your grandma. 
Come on. Grandma had the goods. Yeah. And Grandma let you know that she had the goods. She wasn't ashamed to tell you about Jesus. Come on. She wasn't ashamed to mention his name. And it came out on down. Oh, got the mama. Mama on. did the same thing. And yeah. Paul said, now you're doing it. Come on. That's right. You're leaving a legacy of some kind, folks. Come on. Come on. Are you leaving one? Come on. Let's, let's go back to let's go back to the book of Kings. Let's go back to the book of Kings. Second Kings. Let's go to Second Kings, chapter two. Verse eight. Elijah and Elisha walking along together. <clears throat> And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together. And he smote the waters and they were divided hither and thither so they went over on dry ground. Yeah. And it came to pass when they gone over there, Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Come on. And he, Elijah said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be unto thee, and if not, it shall not. And it came to pass that they went on and talked, and behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by the whirlwind. Now Elijah is walking along, and Elijah is walking, and he said, I want, and he's looking at this pastor, this minister, this person that's been telling him all these things about God, and he's just seen him, brother, he's just seen him walk out to the water and say, and the water rolled back. Amen. And he just saw that. And now he said, I want a double portion Come of on. what you've got. What you got. Right. Yeah. Woo. Come on. And Elijah did Elijah didn't say, Oh, you don't really want it. Come on. You don't want to pay the price, right? He said, Watch me. Yeah. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you, folks. We as children of God, as ministers of God, we ought not to be ashamed to tell people, watch us. Come on. But now when you tell that brother. Come on. Make sure you got something for them to see. Come on. And make sure you got something you want them to see. Yeah. But when you say, watch me. Mm -hmm. Elijah said, watch me. Come on. Elisha began to follow him, and they hadn't went very far until he was gone. But you know what happened as he left? His mantle, his coat fell off of him. Come he on. came back to the ground. Amen. Come on. And Elisha walked over and picked that up and said, Well, I asked for a double <clears> blessing. <throat> Yeah, and all I got was this old ragged jacket. <laughs> that wasn't what he did. No. He walked over and picked that up and he yeah. stood there and looked at it. Yeah. And Brother Billy, when he looked at it, he said, Man, I remember Come on. not too many hours ago. Whew, Hallelujah. Not too many hours ago, we Come were on. down there by the Jordan River. Come and on. I remember my master looking at the Jordan and Come taking on. his coat yeah. and slapping the water and the water rolled back. And he yeah. said, now, Come I on. asked him, yes. I asked Woo! him, and he told me to look at him. He said, I was watching when he left. Come now on. I got this, and he picked up the where is God? Oh, and hallelujah. Woo! Guess what? Come on. Because Elijah had said, watch me. Come on. And see me when I go. Yeah. Come on. He was able to do the same thing Elijah did. Yeah. Why? Because he watched him, and he paid attention to what was yeah. happening. Come what on. kind of legacy are you leaving? Come on. Wow. That's good. What are you leaving? Come You're on. leaving something. Yeah. You're leaving something. Yeah. Every day that you walk <clears throat> on this earth, somebody watches you. Come on. Right. And they pay attention to you. And brother, they pay a special attention if you say you're a child of God. Come on. Amen. They really want to watch you. That's yeah. Right. Somebody told them once, well, they're watching you and that they're hoping that you make a mistake. Yeah. Can I tell you a sad thing? You know the one that really wants to see you make a mistake? Come on. Those people that come to church with you. <coughs> uh -oh. Those people that are claiming the same God you're claiming. Come on. They're watching you and say, oh, I know he ain't what he says he is. Come on. I know. But listen, if you are like the Apostle Paul and you say, I'm following God and you follow me. See, there used to be a thing placed around here. I've, I've actually heard preachers say this. Come on. Don't you do what I do. You do what I say. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you something right now, folks. If you can't tell me to do what you do, don't tell me nothing. Come on. Right. 
Right. But I don't believe in this junk. Yeah. You can do one thing, I got to do. You know that my, my pastor said there's an ancient Greek word for that, it's baloney. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you gotta leave and you're leaving a legacy. When Peter and James walked out to the beautiful see what I'm saying is we're, we're so afraid that somebody will see us. Come on. Yeah. Well I got news for you folks. Do you know why God called me? Come on. You know why God called Billy Douglas? Do you know why my God knows my sister's saying? Because he wants people to see us. Come on. When I first got started getting called to preach, A. Allen was famous back then. I said, I ain't like A. Allen. I ain't like this one. One day the Lord said, I don't want you to be like A.A. Allen. Come on. Yeah. I've already got him. Come on. Wow. I want you to preach the way I tell you to preach. Yeah. I want you to do what I tell you to do and forget about A.A. Allen. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I guarantee you, Brother Billy, don't get up for one second. If I could just preach like that, hey. <laughs> oh, if I could just preach like this one. Come on. If I could just preach like that one. You know what he does? You know what little Tyler, you know what Brother Tyler does? You know what he wants to sing a song? He don't say, I wish I could sing like that. He says, what do you want me to sing this morning? Yeah. And you know what? I, I've, been, I've been coming around here for quite a while. And I have never come in, in and heard Brother Douglas talking. Or heard Brother Tyler when he was singing. And started looking for him and they'd be... Come on. Come on. Yeah. What's the matter? I don't want nobody to see me. Come on. I'm afraid that might give me God's glory. Come on. You know what I think with all my heart? When I hear a minister begin to look at somebody and say, well, now you understand that God doesn't always heal. And you understand that sometimes God takes time. And you understand you've got to be really in the will of God. You know what they're doing? They're building them a safety net so that if it don't happen, they've got a way out. Uh -oh. right. And they'll look at you, Brother Ben, and say, now if you've got the faith, yeah. I didn't want to ask you a question. When Jesus walked up in front of the tomb of Lazarus, <coughs> how much faith did Lazarus have? Come on. Come on. That's right. Lazarus was stone cold dead. Amen. Amen. And it was Jesus' faith and Jesus' word. What did she say at the sound of his voice? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something, folks, on the authority of God's word. If you're saved, you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're called to do God's work. Come on. Every time you talk, the devil hears God's voice. Come on. Because he's speaking through you. He's using you. He wants to use you. Come on. When Peter and James walked up to the temple, man been laid up for 38 years. Yeah. And they walked up there and he said, Oh, his little box said, Help me. Arms, feet, give. Yeah. And they walked up and the first thing they said, they didn't walk over by him real easy and say, <coughs> Come on. Uh, we, we could tell you about Jesus, but you understand he don't do it every time. Peter said, look at us. Come on. He said, they looked at him. Come on. What? Expecting yeah. to receive. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Now I'll tell you this, just in case you wanted this thing I'm preaching my people. <laughs> The same thing I talked to them They said, but you know what? When you have people expecting to receive something, you better be sure you get something to give them. Amen. Don't let them come and go home hungry. 